Good morning to you. Chicago Public Schools came out with this new plan early this morning. Of course, the teachers union then responded to it. The plan, which laid out, it was laid out in an email from Chicago Public Schools, basically says that it wants to start getting some of those students that need in-person learning back into schools, possibly by next month with the rest of the grades following possibly in January. Now, Chicago Public Schools started off the year in remote learning, as you know, and will continue to do so at least for now in the next week or so parents of pre-k children and those in cluster programs special needs students will be getting a questionnaire asking if they want to return to the classroom plans are in place for parents who want to continue the remote learning cps says it's starting with these students because they need the most attention it also says getting back to in-person learning is needed to help boost enrollment which saw a huge decline from last fall and cps says it needs to boost its attendance numbers CPS says it is working with the Chicago Public Health Department and taking every precaution, including more cleaning, contact tracing, testing, better ventilation, masks, additional custodial staff, and smaller class sizes. The teachers union fired back this morning saying this isn't a plan, it's a dangerous idea. It says 30 schools have experienced staff members who have been infected with COVID-19. We have a long way to go and a short time to get there. We cannot experiment or take lightly the responsibility that we will need to see from our mayor and Chicago Public Schools as reopening plans are hatched. In fact, you cannot put together a plan in the dark of the night with only a few people that excludes our parents, that excludes our families, that excludes our educators, our practitioners, and excludes our union. Now, all of this comes as the state starts hitting some of the highest numbers it's seen when it comes to coronavirus since the pandemic started. However, CPS points to the numbers here in Chicago while trending upwards still remains well below where we were at the peak of the pandemic. We're live at City Hall this morning. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.